Greetings, Internet. It's Dustin again with my home kit home, bringing you all things Apple home kit from news to product reviews to how to's just like this one. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. In this video, we'll be looking at how to perform a factory reset on the iDevices outdoor switch. Now, this is a pretty painless process, but it's good to keep in mind any time that you're maybe trying to troubleshoot any issues that you might be having with the device, or if you're planning on selling it or giving it away, it's always a good idea to reset the device. And first, what we want to do is remove it from our HomeKit setup, and we'll look at that in Apple's Home app. So what we'll do is we'll long press on the device icon and we'll go into the settings. We'll scroll all the way down or tap the gear icon and then we'll select remove accessory. Once we've confirmed that, it's removed from HomeKit. We can also do this in the iDevices Connected app and here's how we do that. So we'll go ahead and first track down our outdoor switch. Then we'll long press on the device icon. From the top right, we'll select edit and then we want to select delete accessory. Once we've confirmed that, we see that it is in fact removed from our iDevices Connected app. So going now into the physical reset of the device, we'll notice that we have our single button on the left hand side of the device. We'll hold and press that for about 15 seconds. First, we'll see a blue flashing LED on the face of the device. And then a few seconds later, we will get a red flashing LED on the face of the device. Hold that down for a few more seconds it will return to a blue flashing light and that indicates that the device has been factory reset. Now something to keep in mind if you are troubleshooting the iDevices outdoor switch once you have factory reset it you do want to go ahead and add it back to HomeKit. You can do this using either Apple's Home app, you can use the iDevices Connected app or some other third-party HomeKit app in any situation that will work. And that's how you do that. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and helps others find our content. If you're interested in more HomeKit related videos, you can check out this playlist here or you can check out this video here. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. Well, that's about all that I have for you today. I do thank you for watching and until I see you in the next one, this has been Dustin with my home kit home.